Hi everyone, Lenda Killer Show here again. I just wanted to take some time to at least just do like a version of a video that I just did on Lenda Killer War Games. I just wanted to like, you know, just say that ships is really not on the best path either. With some of their decisions they've been making lately, a lot of their sh decisions seem like rush, 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 rush. It's like, I've never seen this much content come out all at once before. It's like, they're desperate for money or something along those lines. And then seeing the moves in World of Tanks itself? It just screams, we're bleeding money, we're bleeding money, help, help, help. We're just going to stick a bunch of content at you and hope that you spend your money. Honestly, when you see Quickie Baby running around and stuff, you're just like, what? what's going on here, you know? I mean, geez, I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but at some point, somebody's got to say, you know, that something probably going on, you know, it's... It's not like I like making this video, like Quickie Baby didn't like making his video. It's like, what What are we supposed to do now? Just wait for the game to slowly crumble because the devs just don't um, care anymore and they just want to do whatever? I, I just don't know anymore. Like, I don't know what else to say. It's just like, what, 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 what are we... What are we going to be left with? With nothing? Because there's not really any big competitors out there as far as I know to ships. You know what I'm saying? I just I just don't know anymore. It's like the whole... The whole game is like in free fall right now. And people just aren't even realizing how much in a free fall we are. Because our... Player count keeps dropping, and if you look at the player count week by week, we're getting below 7,000 on some days for NA. I would refer you to the C Raptor, you know, quarterly video for fourth quarter, you know. He gets it down to 7,000, but then it goes even further down to 6,900. I saw this just this last week. Um, a lot of my clan mates have been coming to me and saying, hey, my, my matchmaking is like really bad right now for tier eight. What, what do you think is going on? And I'm being like, I think it's probably something to do with the game. You know, it's, I mean, right here, we're testing a new feature for the game with mine dropping. Let's hope we're not testing rockets next. I, I just don't know what else to say. It's just like, what what are we supposed to do if the developers are being so stupid to drive their games into the ground by not listening to players? Like, usually what happens in tanks usually comes to ships. Like, I'm not even kidding on that because the battle pass it started in tanks, right? And it came to ships. The whole losing credits with your ships thing, that comes from tanks. That is purely from tanks. The whole losing sh credits with your ships thing, because there was a time when we made a lot of progress, you know, as a... What the hell is going on? This, why is my captain out with my ship? I get what was going on with that, but I recalled the commander, but geez. I just don't know anymore because we've had these hybrids come into the game. We've had submarines come into the game on week after week after week. I'm proven right when people say, hey, I don't like these sub homing mechanics. Hey, I don't like these submarine homing mechanics. You know, the torpedo homing mechanics. Like people really, really don't like that. And I really think that it needs to be removed from the game for good. Because it's really destroying the balance right now in the game. Like, 
I've been playing since Soul Spade and I haven't seen it this bad in a long time since the CV rework. CC Exodus, you know, was bad, but the, the CC rework was probably the most bad. And right now you have developers, I think, that are panicking to get out as much content as possible in hopes that everybody will spend their money. And I'm saying that, like, Maybe it's time that we stop giving them money until they actually listen to us for once because I think they're too used to people in the Eastern Hemisphere just giving them money left and right just for a big fancy new ship or whatever, or a fancy new tank. I think maybe it's time that we just cut the money off and just be like, no more until you guys start listening. Like, if you, if you want to get War Games attention, like... You guys all have to be in on this, and you guys all have to say, hey, we're, we're not going to put up with this anymore. You guys need to stop making terrible balancing changes, and you need to actually listen to players instead of trying to make everything pay to win, because the changes World of Tanks is making with their World of Tanks Plus is really steering their game to be pay to win, because the mounting, the demounting of equipment, you can demount your... Because World of Tanks is like a currency called Bonds, which you earn through ranked events and through other ways. And they're, they have advanced equipment, which is called like Bounty Equipment, and there's usually a high penalty for demounting that. But with World of Tanks Plus, that penalty is no more. Just demount equipment at will, they get accelerated crew training, all for $8 more a month. Now, you may be saying, hey, Blanicu, why are you getting your, your, your panties and twist over another $9 subscription per month? And I'm just like, um, guys, usually what happens in tanks comes to ships. And if that comes over to ships, you know, where we have an, the ability to demount equipment for free and all that, and it may not be as a big deal as it is for tanks, but there's going to be other benefits thrown in, such as accelerated training. Like, you already got your early access events with, with ships. You already got your battle pass. You already got a standard premium account going, pretty much your standard premium account. Just one level of that. I just feel like the game is just being ridiculous at this point with, with we, we're getting content left and right, sure, but we're getting very terrible balancing along with it, you know, like, I really feel like the developer should be spending a good amount of time rebalancing old ships. There's a lot of ships, mainly the Japanese heavy cruisers, Japanese light cruisers, American standard battleships, American standard destroyers that could really use a, a lift in the current meta because things are so bad right now. Like, I wouldn't sit there and be making a video like this unless I thought things were bad. And that's just that's just the gist of it. Things have gotten not better, but worse with these last few patches. And I'm raising concerns because of the World of Tanks Plus. It's probably going to come to ships in some form, and it's going to be something ridiculous that you're not even going to want. They might even do something really sneaky and they might say, oh, if you want submarine, if you want no submarines, you're going to have to buy World of Warships Plus. They could easily do that. And I'm saying to Wargaming directly, um, you guys are going to lose my business. You're going to lose everybody else's business. You keep being dummies or insert whatever insult you, the viewer, want to say about Wargaming and their ridiculous changes because there was a time back in 2018 where early access was one event and you had a spread of two to three months before the next early access event would start. Right now we have this Brisbane thing still going on, which I don't even want to mess with because I'm not interested because there's too much content. There's just another random bundles piece of shit. Nobody wants this. Like, nobody. You're, like, seeing all the content creators make other... They make other content on their channels now, not just shifts, because they can see the writing on the wall, too, like I can. 
except you know I kind of saw it like two or three years ago once the submarine started coming to the game and I just started creating all these channels because I was seeing what was happening you know I just think that this has gotten out of control and that there needs to be regulations on gaming companies to outlaw random bundles completely, like Belgium did. I feel like we need those consumer protection laws in the US and in other countries in Europe. And even out there in Out East and Poland and other territories where war gaming operates. Obviously, we're not going to see any change in Russia because Russia is Russia. It's its own separate server now, as is China. But I think for what it's worth, we need to have some some consumer protection laws drawn up to protect the vulnerable. Because if somebody has a gambling addiction, they're easily going to be spinning this over and over again, regardless of whatever check marks here. And I feel that the game needs to get back to its roots and do away with these random bottles completely. Because it's it's really, a, it kills the fun for everybody when you have these random bottles plus all these submarines come into the game. My beef with submarines is they're homing torpedoes. You take away homing torpedoes, then you're going to solve a lot of your problems wargaming your random bundles right now are your are one of your main fun killers along with your constant content that's gotta stop we need some breathing room here wargaming we don't need a new split a new branch every month we need like a two to three month break like you used to do it the only conclusion I can keep drawing back and back to is that you guys are desperate for cash right now because of your move. And I'm saying, as a person who's grew up in the West, that's a really terrible, terrible way to go about things is to want everything to be cash this, cash that. And I think I'm just getting fed up with the constant gaslighting by wargaming saying oh here's a new feature and here's a bunch of negative economy changes like they did with the camel rework and these super ships as well are just a really terrible idea when you consider what they're going to lead to eventually like let's not ignore the elephant in the room eventually missile ships are going to be making their way into the game at this point with all the ridiculous changes we've been seeing it was tested, I believe, in the early days of Alpha. You know, and it could easily come to the game. We don't have any confirmation on that, so take that with a grain of salt, but... I don't really think that matchmaking has been fun for Tier 9 ships lately, with all these super ships running around. Like, I think the smart thing for Wargaming to do right now is to change the economy to be positive again for the players instead of nerfing it to the ground like they have been for the last year and a half here. With, first with the camo changes, then with the gradual changes that they've been doing. I feel like my, my biggest annoyance with them at the present is just their lack and disregard for wanting to rebalance older ships in the game along with the heavy emphasis on random bundles and super ships and homing torpedoes. You know what's an easy win for you, Wargaming? Get rid of homing torpedoes completely and say, we're done with this because it annoys our players and it causes their player spend to go down. There's only so many new players that are going to go around before you're going to want to come back to us older players that actually spend money left and right for everything. You need to bring this, the game back to 2018 state in terms of content. You need to slow down. We can't keep up with all this content. It's way too much content. You guys need to focus on rebalancing lines that really, really need it. I know that you've made adjustments to Zao, but it could probably still use a couple more adjustments to make it more competitive, mainly in the sur survivability department. And your light cruiser branch, you rushed that out the door. Don't say that you didn't rush that out the door because you guys rushed that out the door. 
I do not see any of these guys running around on the high seas because they're in such a poor state. You need to sit there and rebalance this line. And why do the light cruisers have more HP than Zhao? That makes no sense. You need to take Zhao and rebalance it and give it some more hit points and give it some attention again. Along with the light cruiser branch, because you really, really messed up with the light cruiser branch here. I don't think that any other, there might be a few other branches which I'm not thinking of at the moment that need rebalancing in all fairness. But I think we really need to slow down on content because this is getting ridiculous. Nobody can keep up anymore with the amount of events going on. It's going to be mainly choose what one event you can keep up with and then the other event you're going to have to completely ignore because you don't have enough time. So my plea to Wargaming is slow down with the content and get homing torpedoes gone like yesterday. Because all you're doing is pissing off players. Not pissing them off to spend money, you're pissing them off to leave the game for other games. And the fact that your content creators aren't even making as many ships videos as they used to, that, that's a red flag too. Like, I noticed there was a huge gap where they didn't make any videos, then he must have bugged them and said, hey, there's been no videos out there that are positive of us, so let's make them, so why don't you guys put out a bunch of videos? I don't like making these negative videos because I want everybody to enjoy the game. But like Quickie Baby said for World of Tanks, I can no longer recommend World of Warships for a competitive type player due to the irregular balance updates up to the game. If you want to play casually, that's fine, but you're not going to be able to keep up anymore because things have changed. You're not going to be able to spend everything. Like the average person's not going to be able to spend over $200 for this or $150 for this. It's just not possible, not for the average person. Just because, you know, our living expenses are through the roof right now for a lot of us. But these random bundles, sure, you may get lucky. But did you know that there was a time in the game when you could just get things out of containers? Or out of collections for free? Or entire ships for free? Without having to spend money on no battle pass? Yeah, that's right. They used to give away a lot of stuff for free. But look at this. They're locking the tier 8 behind premium battle pass. You're locking everything behind random bundles. I mean, come on, people. I can't be the other one that feels this way, that this has gone on for long enough. The only way you're ever going to get more game to listen is to close your wallets and to say enough is enough until they get rid of homing torpedoes, and we got to put a line in the sand. we got to get a bunch of us together, and we got to say, no, no more money till you get rid of homing torpedoes, and we need to draw the line in the sand there. Because if we get submarines in the game without homing torpedoes, I think they could work. But with homing torpedoes, that's way too broken of a mechanic. And even then, you still need a stealth penalty for submarines. This whole showing up two kilometers within a ship and sinking it with no penalties to stealth is ridiculous. And that needs to be changed too. There needs to be a stealth penalty for shotgunning. And you're going to find that a lot of players are going to leave the game here soon enough if Wargaming doesn't change the tune and doesn't start listening. And that goes for both tanks and ships. So, yeah, that's the end of this ranty video. Hopefully my next video is more positive. I'm sorry, you guys, that I had to waste a whole video ranting about common sense things that Wargaming should already know about. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Get it trending. You know what to do. Otherwise, until next time, see you all later on the Lanicular Show. Have a nice day.